let's let's get into you know let's talk a little bit about the heavyweights right quick man you know we've all been watching you know what's been transpiring over in you know ukraine um with the tension that's going on in the war between russia and ukraine um my prayers go out you know to all of the ukrainians over there everybody who's dealing with you know what's going on um but there is one notable heavyweight uh, from Ukraine, Oleksandr Yusik. And it has now been announced recently that he has now been cleared from the Ukrainian government to leave the country and go train for the mega rematch with Anthony A.J. Joshua. So Q, give me your thoughts on that, man. First off, are you excited about that, that fight really happening this summer? And then give me your, your feeling on what you think is going to happen now that it looks like AJ's not going to get that little interim bout to kind of work on his skill. We're going directly back into the rematch this summer, bro. So tell me what, what you think about that fight, man. Ah, uh, you know, uh, there's so many moving moving parts with uh with the war and everything. You know what I'm saying? And if you it could be in a, a mental space. But, you know, used to seem like you type that could lock in. Probably even more based on what it, what his countryman is going going through, mm -hmm. and probably and he'll probably use it as motivation, man, and that'll be dangerous. You know what I'm saying? Because use is you know the, the way that last fight went down. I'm more concerned about Anthony Joshua, and if he have answers for use at this point, because you know he was he was you know he was reluctant to 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 just go all out, and, and I just feel like he was going to bully use He tried right. to outbox use Usage's footwork is too impeccable. He's too he's too skilled and he's too crafty, shifty, unorthodox, and you know what I'm saying. He gonna have to make usage fight. He gonna have to make him. You got to make it a brawl. I don't think you know you got to use your size and just use use your advantages. Fight tall. Right. You know what I'm saying. He couldn't time him. You know. So it remains to be seen, man. If I was, a, you know, I am a bad man. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> my, my my money would be on usage, man, and I'll be praying for Joshua to, to pull off. I feel like it'd be upset, honestly, man, just because of. The lack of answers I seen him have in the first fight, he was just honestly, and then you know he, he it was lucky that fight didn't get stopped, you know, you know. So hopefully Joshua was taking this fight, um, and and he he you know he understand the assignment, you know he going to go all out, he going to go all out. I would rather see him get knocked out than than to, than to just be, man. You're not going you're not going out boxing out. I move usage. You want the bulldog usage. Now, I don't right. really think it's a lot of ways you going you gonna be able to beat him. You gotta impose your will and your size and your power, and that's what I got for that one, man. Yeah, man. I, I, I man, I really don't like this for AJ. I was really hoping that Joshua was gonna be able to get an interim bout in there to kind of work on what he's been uh, trying to work on since the loss to usage. But I agree, man. I think. I really think uh, Usyk's going to have a, a head space where he's going to be – he got a lot on his back that I think he's going to try to give the best performance possible, man. I think he's going to go into this training camp locked and loaded, almost ready to do this for Ukraine and, exactly. and, and prove that he deserves to be the champion, that the first time he beat AJ wasn't a fluke. Um, I believe AJ is at a deficit when it comes to boxing skill compared to Usyk, and I don't believe – like I said over and over when we talked about Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder, I don't believe that you suddenly in a matter of one or two camps jump and leap up in boxing skill. It's something that you've got to work at over time. And you also need bouts under the bright lights to work on those skills that you uh, worked on in camp. So I love that the fight's happening, man. You know, we're going to be watching it locked and low to the TV, but man, AJ going to have to go for it all. And I just don't know if he has um, the ring generalship uh, to really cut the ring off on somebody as slick at Usyk. But, man, we don't see what's happening, man. I hope I hope you don't watch enough uh, reruns of American Gangster, man. And, you know, <laughs> hey, man, you're right. hey, hey, you know, like you said, he, he, I hope you don't listen to, to 50 Cent first album. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I hope you hope because, you know, he said, you know, he lost he lost his. His swag. You know, that, he he his went age. back. He went back and said he, he had to go back and watch Menace of Society and all that type of stuff, man. And it's like, man, look, 
the movies ain't gonna help you, you know what I'm saying? But I understand the mentality, you know what I'm right. saying? So we, we get motivated by certain things, you know. We see the dog in certain 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 characters and we you know we channel it, we channel it for whatever we got going on, you know. So you know, power, it, it, power to AJ, man. I want yeah, to yeah, pull it out. And I salute him, you know. I mean, it's hard to knock any fighter um for wanting their immediate get back, you know, when they take an L. So you can't fault them for that. And shoot, like we talked about before, one of the most flagrant uh problems in the, the first bout was that AJ didn't use any of his advantages. No, he didn't no. use no size, no, no. strength. He, he, he didn't he didn't try to use his jab like he should have. None of that, bro. So we'll see. We'll see, man. If, if this second go around this summer, you know, things can shake out a little different, man. Right. Now, 